gonna break down a lot of wisdom on inverters for us today. So Kyle works on Prego buses every day. He's the guy climbing around, taking these buses apart, putting them back together. You own eight buses, manage another four, and are in, in taking care of maintaining all of these buses, fixing everything. And anybody that's owned an RV knows the inverter is a big part of the buses. The whole power system, yeah. The entire electrical system of a coach. What exactly does the inverter do? The inverter basically takes DC power, which is your battery bank, whether it's 12, 24, 48 volts, however your system is set up, and inverts the power into AC, 120 volts, which is like your house outlets. So it can run your TVs, it can run your refrigerators, it can run air conditioners if you have a big enough battery bank and a big enough inverter. So different coaches have different size batteries and whatnot. Um, there's different sizes of inverters as well. Can you tell the folks a little bit more about what what they can expect, in, you know, in their coach or? Yeah, so the, the main two inverters are modified sine wave and pure sine wave. Obviously a modified sine wave is, uh, sine wave is more of a squared off sine wave when you're, when you're looking at it um, on a scope. And then a pure sine wave is exactly the sine wave that's coming out of your wall outlet essentially, and it's better for electronics and stuff like that. Uh, generally, in the more higher end coaches, well, they're definitely gonna be pure sine waves in the higher ends. In the lower budgeted stuff, like kind of, uh, what do you guys call them? The, the Production coaches? Production coaches or um, fiberglass, fiberglass, yeah. fiberglass coaches, right? Yeah. I, I just learned that from you the other day. Yeah, I had yeah, no yeah, idea yeah. what that was, yeah. but in, in a, fiberglass, a cheaper fiberglass coach will have a modified sine, uh, sine wave inverter. But basically what it does is, when you're going down uh, the road, your alternator on, on your engine is actually charging your battery bank and your inverter charger is actually inverting power from DC voltage to 120 volt AC power. And then when you arrive to wherever you're gonna be parked up or shore power, once you plug your shore power and your transfer switch uh, locks in and then through your panel or however your system's wired, you then get 124, uh, 120 volts AC, which then converts your inverter from a, or your inverter charger into charge mode, which then charges back your battery bank and passes through AC power. These Prevo inverters that you use are super expensive new. Do you know about how much these inverters cost new? Uh, it, it varies, but a, 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 like a 4,000 watt pure sine wave Magnum, you can get, I, I'd have to pull up the numbers, but just shy of 2,000. 2000 bucks. Yeah. So if if inverters break, I see it. you're so so you repair these inverters here at your shop? <laughs> yeah, we're a service center for Magnum Energy, which is a fantastic company to work with. Very cool. So if someone's having a problem with an inverter, what are some of the the, the problems the that main, they the can that they're yeah. going to see? Um you'll have bad batteries, which will give you DC low volts, right? Which a lot of people uh, will bring their coaches here and say they have a bad inverter and I go and I load test the batteries and the batteries are shot. So you got to start with good batteries. Once you have good batteries, then if your inverter still doesn't work, then we have to go further on down the line and see what's going on. There can be relays that are stuck inside. There can be control boards that ha have malfunction that need to be replaced. Um, AC boards, the FET boards can, can go bad, which actually convert the power um, or invert the power rather. Um, yeah. And what is that usually? I mean, it, there's a lot of different stuff going on. The, is there is there an average um, repair cost when an inverter goes bad? I mean, I'm sure it can be a million different things, but ranging from low to high, what's the? Yeah, it, it, it all depends which board it is and which model and, and stuff like that. But sometimes we can get things repaired for for three hundred dollars, or it could be a thousand dollars. But it definitely beats the cost of a, a brand new inverter. Yeah, absolutely. So you're set up. You can get these inverters fixed pretty quickly and efficiently here at your shop. That's correct, yeah. So if folks need, have an RV with a bad inverter, now are you only dealing with like Prevo type coaches, inverters? No, we do, other... we'll do motorhomes as well. Yeah, anything that basically has uh, Magnum or Xantrex products. I mean, um, since we are the Magnum dealer, 
that we have an abundance of parts in stock. So if somebody has an issue and they're coming through Phoenix area, they can stop by and, and we can quickly get it diagnosed and fixed. Or, or, or they can go online and, and, and submit a form, yeah. an inquiry, say that. Yeah, or you can go online and submit an inquiry on the uh, on our website. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, um, and another thing too, you know, Kyle does maintenance on Prevos, inverters, and another cool thing is he's also got this awesome swag here. You can see we're both wearing it here. So probably the most comfortable sweatshirt I've ever owned. So you can head on it. You can check out his online store as well uh, at bordercoachleasing.com to pick up some of this swag. Very reasonably priced as well. So definitely, I definitely highly recommend using Kyle's services and uh, and his clothing line as well. So let's do some inverting, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's, uh, you want to show us a little more close up of what's going on here? Sure. Or let me uh, bring the camera over here, so. What, um, so yeah, so what's all, what's all going on here? Doc Brown setup here, right? Okay, so you can see here's the sine wave, which there's no, there's no sine wave right now because the inverter is in the off position. And there she is, here's sine wave. Sorry. Oh, that's sweet. Isn't that dope? So basically we have our battery bank down below here. We are 118 volts coming out of it, right? We're pulling, uh, our battery bank's at 25, amp or 25 volts right now and we're discharging at 1.1 very cool what's the hertz on that there you go 60 hertz 60. see now we have 300 watt power brings our batteries down a little bit but our voltage stays the same and now we're pulling at 300 watts we're pulling 12 amps almost 13 amps out of the batteries nice what all do you have going on here? This is our inverter fixing room, basically. Our, our, this is our Doc Brown Center, right? As yeah. they all say. Uh, these, these are all inverters that need repair, basically out of you know motor homes or, like these are the old 4024s that a lot of um, high-end motor coaches have in them. Uh, and then these are like kind of the, the cheaper, not our modified sine wave inverters and then we have one on the bench right here which is a pure sign magnum uh 4000 watt 24 volt inverter well hey i kyle i greatly appreciate you sharing all that awesome information about how inverters work i definitely learned something today hope all of you learned something today uh any last words for the youtube subscribers out there Ask more questions, right? <laughs> yes, ask more questions. Kyle's a wealth of knowledge, really happy to share it. So he's close by to me out here in Arizona too. So make sure to drop any questions in the comments section below and I'll try to come back and ask those questions for Kyle. So, hey, thank you all. Hope you're all having a great day. Greatly appreciate all of you. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more cool RV related content and meet more cool people like this. Thanks again.